Hey vlog buddies, okay, so I know this is really a hot topic. It is why gay men hate their bodies so much. And there was recently this study that found that when it comes to body image, straight guys like their bodies the most, followed by lesbians, followed by straight women, and then last but not least, gay men. And so the question of course is why? And I was recently on Huffington Post Live last week with a group of panelists and we were talking about the issue. And this, been, this topic has been getting tons of buzz online. But the thing is, like, I really don't think that anyone's getting it right. And yes, by the way, I am wearing a shirt for this video because I figured it'd be a little disingenuous from like bouncing around naked when we're talking about body image. Not that the two can't go hand in hand, but I mean, it's kind of like talking about obesity while you're eating a Big Mac. So for gay men, I really think it's this perfect storm. And a lot of people, the discussion has kind of surrounded that it is in response to the trauma of coming out and that like gay guys are really just trying to fit in and so this is what we do, but I don't really buy that. And I think that if we were trying to fit in with two thirds of Americans being overweight or obese, we would be trying to get beer bellies, not six packs. Having said that, yes, I think there is something to be said for the experience of being gay and the discrimination you face or being rejected by your family or friends or being told by the government that you are less than. And I think the danger is if you are told over and over again that you are less than, you are less than, you are less than, eventually you may come to believe it and that issue may manifest itself in many ways, including how you feel about your body. But I don't think that tells the full story. And if it did, then lesbians would feel just as shitty about their bodies as gay men do. And we know that that's not true. So here's where I really think that it is. And this is interesting. I don't think that gay men objectify other men's bodies any more than straight men objectify women's bodies. The difference is that for gay guys, the bodies that we objectify aren't just someone else's, they're also our own. We happen to live in male bodies. And so I know that if, for example, I'm attracted to guys that are fit and athletic, then when, because I want that in other people, when I look into the mirror, I see myself in a male body, I'm gonna wanna create that in myself. So it's really this like double whammy. And for a straight guy, like he might value big old titties on some girl, but he's not gonna go to the doctor's office and get big old titties on himself because he values that in someone else. So I think that is where it is different and I think that's where it gets especially bad and especially tricky for gay guys. The other thing is, and I know that I'm totally gonna get shit for this, but there are a lot of gay couples, not all of them, but there are a lot of gay couples uh, in the gay community that are very open about the openness of their relationship. And I'm sure that this happens with straight couples. It is certainly talked about a lot less, but there is a significant number of gay men that even when they're in long-term relationships, are still open. And so in a way, you're never really off the market. You need to stay competitive. So the whole adage of getting like fat and happy when you're married, I don't think necessarily applies to all gay men. And then the last point is, and this is like rarely acknowledged for whatever reason, is that people tend to forget, and this is what my understanding is, that a lot of this body consciousness, this body culture in the gay community, that the whole Chelsea boy body, a lot of this came up in the 1980s and it was a direct response to the AIDS epidemic. And so having like this outwardly strong, muscular, athletic body was a way to say to everyone else that you're healthy. And so a lot of what we see today was really built on that foundation. That's where the roots of it all started. And so then all of this shit really comes together and it's easy to see it's the perfect storm for, for gay men when it comes to body image, we are absolutely totally fucked. And so that concludes this week's edition of why gay men hate their bodies. Maybe next week we'll talk about how to overcome that hate because as they say, where there are great challenges, there are also great opportunities. <laughs> so, or some shit like that. Anyway, I would love to hear what you think in the comments below why gay men hate their bodies. And I will talk to you guys soon. I love you. Peace out.